Let's travel to Peru, where we can see the ancient Inca city of Machu Picchu, Rainbow Mountain, and the Andes mountain range. There are also alpacas and llamas, which create beautiful woven fabrics that can be made into rugs, blankets, and clothing. Peruvians have a long history of wearing ponchos and hats because they are warm, simple to make, and show off their weaving skills. Let's draw a mountain landscape featuring the festive ponchos and hats of Peru. I'm using a piece of white paper, cardstock. I want it to be thicker to go with my watercolors. I also have this painted paper from previous classes. Anything you have left over or you can make your own. I just took a white piece of paper and decorated it with markers, crayons, or watercolors. I also have scissors, a glue stick, a white crayon, a black marker, and a pencil. Let's go. So, the first thing I'm going to do is wake up the purples, blues, and greens of my watercolor. I'm adding just a drop of water, and then I'm gonna let it sit. While it is sitting, I'm gonna draw my mountains for my landscape. The Andes, are a large mountain range in Peru, and they're really important to the way that Peruvians live. So, from there, I'm gonna take my white crayon, and I'm just gonna draw on the tops of my mountains, because we do get snow on these mountains. From there, I'm gonna draw some lines down at the bottom of my paper. This is giving me texture for the grass of my landscape. The last thing you're going to do is add some detail to the sky. I'm just doing swirls, some stars, however you want to decorate your sky, or you can leave it blank. But I just want to add a little extra something something. You can kind of see where the light is hitting the top of my mountain range. So if you move your paper around, you'll be able to see it on yours. It's kind of like a guess though. To color my mountains, I'm using purple. I saw a picture where the mountains were a brownish purple and I'm gonna highlight that purple and take some creative license. You could do a different color. In fact, there is a mountain range in Peru called Rainbow Mountain, and you could totally do something like this. It is up to you to choose what colors you want your mountain to be. I'm leaving a little space at the bottom for the green of my grass. From here, I'm gonna begin adding my grass, so I'm gonna grab some green, and start making short lines up and down following the same movement as the white crayon from before. And what I really like is that even though my mountains weren't perfectly straight along the bottom, it all blends together when I add the green, and you get this real natural look, because you know, mountains aren't perfectly flat right at the bottom. I also want to take a little bit of a wet paper towel, I just dipped it in the water, and I'm clearing off some of the paint so that my white crayon shows a little bit more, the mountain tops. The last thing I need to do with my watercolor is paint my sky. So I'm gonna use blue, and this is kinda like the most fun for me because I didn't get to see any of the patterns I put in the sky with my white crayon. So like I said, it's a little bit of a surprise to see what you ended up creating.
this is our background, but before we can glue anything to it, it needs to dry. So move it to the side and you can begin working on the ponchos for our people. So I'm going to take some of my painted paper and on the back, I'm gonna start drawing these curves that are gonna become the bodies. I'm adding a hat. I'm gonna do four, cause I have four different sheets. You can do all on the same paper if you make one yourself, or you can use any kind of paper you have. Maybe you have wrapping paper where you really like the pattern, or you have a magazine with a really cool pattern, whatever you want to use. When you have your shapes all done, so I did four kind of different sizes and different shapes of hats, I'm gonna begin cutting all of my clothing out. And this is gonna replicate that textile, the patterns that they have from the wool. All right, here are my four sets of clothing. Now I'm gonna go back to my landscape, which I checked, it is dry, so you may have to wait a little bit. But when it's dry, you're gonna start drawing circles for the heads of our people. They don't have to be the same size, right? Some people are taller, some people are shorter, but they should be along the bottom half of your landscape. You can use marker, or if that's difficult because the watercolor is really thick, you can use crayon as well. Once I have the heads, I'm going to add the clothing. So the ponchos, I'm gonna fit them the best fit, making sure that the end of the poncho touches somewhere in the green grass. From there, I'm going to make sure that every head has a body and that every head has a hat. You can add small details, like I'm gonna add braids on this person's hair and I'll add pigtails on another, but I'm not really looking to add any eyes or facial features because they're kind of looking away and that's not the focus of my landscape. One of my ponchos is hanging over the bottom a little bit, so I'm just gonna cut it down to size so I have a child. And there you have it, your Peruvian landscape with their ponchos and hats. <laughs>